Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, another day in the 70s, but this time we dealt with a lot of wind in general. And, of course, the, that line of storms that had within it embedded waves of supercells that were rotating and at times at least trying to produce tornadoes. And we know they did indeed in Union County and probably in at least a couple other spots across the tri-state. We'll know more uh, tomorrow. But highs were in the low to mid-70s this afternoon. And here are the peak wind gusts. Some of these are estimated, but you can see much of the area topped out between 50 and 55 miles per hour. Keep in mind when we're looking at severe thunderstorm wind gusts, 57 is the criteria for a warning. So these were almost as strong as what we get in a severe storm. And these were widespread across the area, especially behind that line of storms that came through when the sun came out this afternoon. That's when the winds got the strongest, as high as 63 miles per hour up in Vincennes. And it was a high wind warning for our far northwestern counties. But live first warning Doppler radar is all quiet, and it's going to stay that way for a while. Estimated rainfall amounts with this system were heaviest uh, really over Union County and then up through parts of Henderson, uh, Vanderburg, uh, Warwick, and southeastern Pike, Dubois counties. Had well over two inches in, in Evansville, Henderson, and Newburgh. Not quite as much in the Owensboro area. Of course, this led to some flash flooding also. That was another part of the story with the storms earlier today. But our King Sky Cam in downtown Evansville, we were swinging this in all directions, especially when those rotating storms came across the west and north sides of Evansville. That happened twice this morning, really a close call for the city, because one of those, I believe, is the one that produced the tornado down in Union County. It did weaken by the time it got up here into the Evansville area. But a nice uh, evening, or a better evening, certainly winding down compared to what we had earlier. It's still warmer than normal at 54, but the winds are settling down out of the west, but still windy at 18 miles per hour, and temperatures ranging from 50 at Carmi and Fairfield to 60 at Tell City and Beaver Dam. We're going to wind up somewhere in the low 40s, which is much cooler, but still a little warmer than normal for this time of the year. And as you can see, it is still a little windy, gust around 30 at Evansville and Tell City, gusting to 25 in Madisonville, 31 at Flora. Winds will settle down a little bit more overnight, then kind of a windy Friday, but more of a typical windy March day. Nothing excessive like what we dealt with today. Courtesy of that bomb cyclone, which was over the plains last night, it's up into the Great Lakes tonight and driving all that energy that gave us the wind and then the energy for the severe weather earlier today. That's all winding down to our east, wraparound clouds and colder air coming back in from the northwest. So Future Tracker continues that trend overnight. And for our Friday, just kind of a gray, windy, chilly, almost late winter-like day. Highs only in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow, maybe even a few sprinkles up in our northeastern counties. And then skies will be clearing out tomorrow night. Seasonably chilly by daybreak Saturday will be around 30 degrees. And Saturday, good looking day, mostly sunny skies, still a little breezy, so a little chilly. We'll be up around 50 for the high on Saturday afternoon, back into the 30s Saturday night. A little warmer on Sunday ahead of a weak front that's going to come through in the afternoon. Looks like it'll be a dry front with just a mix of sun and clouds and high temperatures on Sunday afternoon up into the lower 50s. So for the overnight, the clouds will continue to increase. The winds will settle down a bit more. Not too cold, 40 to 43 for the low. Mostly cloudy, windy, and much cooler tomorrow. Mid to upper 40s for the high. And then mostly sunny on Saturday. Still a little chilly, around 50. Mix of sun and clouds Sunday. Windy, a bit warmer at 52. That front knocks us back down to around 50 on Monday. But fairly quiet through the early part of next week. Our next chance of rain. And right now, just some scattered showers later Wednesday with highs running pretty close to normal for the middle of next week in the middle 50s. But for the first time in a while, a seven-day forecast without any weather-aware days. And our first weekend out of the last four with no snow or storms. Uh, so really a, a, a nice change of pace here. You'll be so glad about that. Get a little sleep and rest this <laughs> you weekend. You really almost. worked yeah. hard today. A yeah. very busy day for you. For the whole team. The whole weather team for yeah. sure with their wall-to-wall -wall mm -hmm. coverage for several hours. Now, I want you to take a look here. This Facebook mm -hmm. post earlier today from Kyle Bryant, it reads, Just saw where someone made the claim that since Wayne Hart's sleeves aren't rolled up, we're going to be fine. And I don't know if truer words have been spoken. Well, I think that uh, Kyle... He's been watching he for had a right while. On. I've been doing this 25 years, so uh, yeah, the, the sleeves start to come up, or even if the tie gets loose, that's, that's a that's red the flag. Big one. Now, if I ever take my shirt off, no. <laughs> I don't know it's, what to tell you. It's done, yeah. Just, we're, we're not, just run for the hills. Yeah, there you go. All okay. right. Well, we do appreciate all sure. you guys did today. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much for keeping mm -hmm. us uh, informed.